Hey, 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 good looking. I'm so glad that you came to my kitchen today to sit there and see what we all have cooking. Grab a hold of that vine, swing right on in my kitchen, and let's get cooking. Good looking. Hey, good looking. Today, we're going to make a toasted, roasted, pot roast sloppy joes. So, let's go ahead and jump right on into the recipe. Now, I want you to go and get a cast iron pan and put some good old heat on that pan because we're going to want a very hot pan to begin with. Once that our cast iron pan is screaming hot, I want you to go ahead, put some oil in it, allow the oil to heat up, and then we got some chopped celery, onion, and carrots. Now, I'm going to add this mixture to the screaming hot pan. Let's add that. You hear that? That's how you know you have a very hot pan. So, I'm going to evenly spread these out, and we're going to want to cook them until they're translucent, but still have some little bite yet to the celery, onion, and carrot. I spread them all out. Now, let them also get some color. Okay, they're getting a little brown, so let's stir them up again. Because we want all that sweetness to come out. Let's give them a stir. Ooh, yeah. Let's stir this up. Now to the screaming hot pan, we're going to bring over the ground beef and we're going to put a good sear on it. Don't touch it, just keep wanting it sear. We want a nice brown crispy crust on that side. Let's take a little look. Nope, I want a little bit crisper. So just leave it alone. Let's go ahead and check it again. Oh yeah. Just like this piece. Look at that. That's what we want. So I'm going to flip these all over. And we're going to do this on the same opposite side as we did the first round. So, I'll be back when I'm all done flipping these over. I'm gonna add the browned up veggies back into the pan, dehydrated mushrooms, and these. I'm just gonna take my kitchen shears and I'm just going to rough chop them up before I add them. I roughly took the kitchen shears and I cut up the dried mushrooms. Now we're adding that. I want you to give this all a good stir. And while you're stirring it, 
start breaking up all that seared up ground beef. Well, that looks great, Ma. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. I'm going to keep chopping it. And in the meantime, I'm going to go mix up some of the beef broth. And also, I'm going to grab the dried minced garlic and the thyme. Oh, yeah. And we can't forget the wish cider sauce. Add the Worcestershire. Give that a good stir. And break up the ground beef as you go along. And go ahead, turn the heat down a little bit. Add that ground thyme. Add that dried minced garlic. Let's give this a stir. I'm gonna go get the beef bouillon along with the water because we have the stock now that we're gonna be adding to all this. Let's add that beef bouillon. I like to mix it all amongst the beef before I add the water. It kind of helps the bouillon wake up. So I'm just going to mix this all up. And then allow this to reduce down. Now let's assemble our roasted toasted pot roast sloppy joes. So I have some toast here just on a platter. We're going to grab some of this goodness and be sure to capture some of that juice and just put it right on over the toast. And now just load it up. Be sure to get the luscious juices as well. Look at this bad boy. Now, we're going to go ahead and give it a taste test. I grab myself a fork. Now, I'm just going to cut right on in. And there it is. Now let's put a good taste in our mouth. Mmm. <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 yes. Now, if you liked what you saw here today, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. If you're not yet a subscriber, go up, hit that subscribe button, tap that little bell. That way you'll always be notified every time I do put out a video. And as always, here's to happy cooking, but better yet, happy eatings. Y'all come back now, you hear?